Today I want to talk about teams and the problems with size and proximity. And why? Because process is expensive. Bigger teams working from a distance, part-time team members and many specialists are all factors that lead to a more elaborate process. This might be obvious, but the more companies I get to know, the more I experience that this is something being ignored. If we are using Scrum or Kanban or some other agile process, we highly value collaboration between people with different skills. A cross-functional team is a team consisting of complementary skills. Together they can bring an idea from start to finish. A great team size is about five people, give or take. Ensure that everyone can be a full-time team member with no other commitment. This enables us to bring an idea from start to finish without delays. Give the team one big nice room with plenty of whiteboards. When seated together, a lot of spontaneous knowledge sharing happens, something that otherwise requires formalized processes and meetings. Working remotely leads to more process. If you're sitting in the same room, communication happens naturally all the time. If you're sitting far apart, you end up writing an email message, a chat messages, and then pause and wait for a response. Sometimes even the thought of getting up from the chair, venturing to another floor, is too big of a mental threshold. It could get even worse. Some communication might not happen at all. Part-time work leads to more process. When someone is away and then returns, that person needs to be brought up to speed. Part-time workers also makes it difficult to find things to work on together, which of course has a negative impact on collaboration. Furthermore, meeting times need to be adjusted to fit everyone's schedule. For a large team with part-timers, it is less likely that everyone is present at the same time. It will not only result in more meetings, but also less time for intense collaboration. More people leads to more process. Think of a nice dinner with your friends. How many people can you be before the conversation breaks up into multiple parallel conversations? The same applies to teams. When we split into multiple subgroups, the need for synchronization meetings emerges. Try to have a conversation with three people, no problem. You then add a fourth and this double the number of communication paths. Five people can still have one large conversation. Six and seven is hard, but still doable. Eight. One final note, with bigger teams, the more people will come and go, which will make it harder for the team to gel. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed this, please press thumbs up and subscribe. My name is Hans Brattberg. I'm a member of CRISP. If you're interested in Lean Startup, check out this book, Jenny Discovers, Camouflage as a Story for Kids.